Today we will deal with the topic circular motion and centripetal force. If you observe carefully the image which is shown in the textbook, you can see here a person is rotating an object which is tied to a string. This object performs uniform circular motion. We have studied in 9th standard that if an object performs a circular motion and in that state if its velocity remains constant then it is uniform circular motion. Now coming to 10th standard what you should know is that whenever an object performs uniform circular motion there is a force which acts on this object and that force which acts on the object moving along a circle is directed towards the center of the circle. This force is called centripetal force. There is a force which acts on any object moving along a circle. This force is called centripetal force. So a force acts on any object moving along the circle and it is directed towards the center of the circle. So you can see here this force is directed towards the center of the circle. And because of this force, the object is able to balance itself and move in a circular motion. So if you see the applications or if you see in nature does this happen other than this example, you can imagine that whenever the moon rotates, uh, revolves around the earth, whenever the moon revolves around the earth, it is performing a uniform circular motion. And the force which acts towards the center is the gravitational force. So in the exam you may get a question what is centripetal force so you have to write this definition that is a force acts on any object moving towards the circle and it is directed towards the center of the circle. This is called centripetal force.